hi guys welcome back to our channel you know the drill please like subscribe and help the channel grow once again today we're gonna be talking about megan and harry the tabloids seem like they can't get over megan markle and prince harry abandoning them leaving the uk what they can't say is that the reason that they left was simply because of them they had no choice it was because of their abuse that they had to leave the uk so what the tabloids are basically saying with the daily express saying that prince harry has been ordered to stand up to Meghan markle over latest royal family controversy you know this is just bullshit to me i mean following backlash and rover whether they are becoming too political first of all buckingham palace just said that whatever they say is on their personal capacity so what's the problem they know full well that they no longer use their royal titles they no longer use them and anything that they say is based on their own personal capacity you have these so-called royal experts discussing about Meghan and Harry every single time, every single opportunity that they get, they talk about Harry and Meghan. But you know what? The Sussex fans won't have it. Meghan and Harry, as you know, have a squad base called the Sussex Squad who protect them from this vile abuse. When you look at the contribution from the Sussex squad, that is they contributed more than 200,000 pounds towards Campbell, then you really know the type of support base that they have is strong, powerful, and will always back them. They were recently backed by even the President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, despite the fact that they have not even publicly endorsed a candidate it seems to me as though the tabloids have made an assumption that they have indeed decided who or more or less pointed to the fact that or alluded to the fact that they have they have said that Joe Biden will be president or president Trump will be the president that they have actually endorsed one of them, which is not the case. Meghan and Harry have not really endorsed any presidential candidate. But it seems once again the tabloids have gone crazy over them, as they always do. The tabloids like to call them and say, hey, you're irre irrelevant. You can't, you can't talk about this. You're irrelevant, guys. But they can't seem to stop talking about them. I mean, let's look at the articles that took them away from the royal family. These are some of the articles that took Meghan and Harry away from the royal family. Some of them include the fact that Meghan avocado that she ate caused an abuse against human rights. When Meghan was slammed for sending a Christmas card at Christmas, yes, this scandal. And that time the press took him up for having knees. Yeah, that's a scandal. Megan was blamed for a temp for a temporary member of Palestine leaving the temporary job. All this that she's to put up with. And they really didn't like it when she refused to pause on social steps immediately after giving birth. They fabricated stories about Megan's relationship with the rest of the royal family. They claimed to have photos of Megan in her underwear, which is just completely pathetic. Apparently, Harry's hair loss is of Megan's fault too. You know, guys, I'd like to compare this to more like an abusive relationship in which a man beats a woman and then constantly says that it's her fault. It's the woman's fault that I've actually beaten you because it's your fault. Is the same actually as Piers Morgan, who was who likes to say that Meghan Markle is actually irrelevant when he can't 
seem to get his hand, his mouth not to talk about Marco. He can't. He just can't help it. He say, he, he actually made this comment that Megan Marco is deluded that if she runs for the pre, in the belief that she would be running for president, if she runs for president, that's her business. He hasn't asked whether she'll be running or not in the next election. Pierce Morgan has buried Meghan Markle ridiculously deluded following claims she's seriously serious about considering a run for US president. I didn't think that that's her business. And didn't Pierce Morgan just say that Meghan, Meghan and Harry are irrelevant even at one point banned them being a conversation on Good Morning Britain? What happened to that? You know, you know what happened? I'll tell you guys what happened. What happened was that Meghan and Harry are the only one that actually increases the ratings at Good Morning Britain. That's why they have no choice but to put them on every single time. I would also like to apologize to Sussex fans for putting images of the tabloids because I just like to prove a point in this case. And that's why I had no choice but to show you various articles that demean a person of color. It, it, just, it just happens in the UK. I mean, you have like white people sitting in a panel composed of, of Piers Morgan and Susan Reed, all sitting right there on Good Morning Britain and saying, did racism play a part in Meghan and Harry quitting the royal family? Of course it took a part, but you know what they said? No, it wasn't. It was criticism. It's the same thing as the Vienna Taylor's decision that acquitted the officers who killed her. I'm sure that the people who acquitted her those grand jury that acquitted those officers were actually white members, were actually white. And then you also have white hosts talking about whether it was racism or not. Not even a single black person to comment on whether it was racism or not. Which I really think is just shows that racism exists everywhere in this world. And more or less the tabloids also cannot get over the fact that the favorite prince, Prince Harry, is away from the UK and left them for his wife and son. They even called for him to leave his wife and son. Can you believe that? Asking a man to leave his wife and son for you so that he can come back and you can take pictures of him and make money of him and leave his wife and son. Are they crazy or what? They must be really crazy, right? What do you think about this? What do you think about what I just said? They can't seem to get over the fact that they get a Netflix deal, $150 million Netflix deal, they are, they are upset about it. They, they ask people to vote, they are, they are upset about it. They go bizarre, guys. Everything they do, basically for sneezing, they go bizarre. Which I really think it's really crazy and just vile and wrong. You have people saying that they're chasing the, the spotlight. I like to tell those people, well, they are the spotlight. The fact that they are miles and miles away from Britain, but people like Piers Morgan who calls them irrelevant but can't talk, stop talking about them shows you that they don't need to be in the spotlight. They are the spotlight. So what do you think about the tabloids' constant harassment of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? They don't even use that name basically. They you can just they they are okay with being referred to as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So what do you think about that guys? What do you think about the press constant harassment? I mean they basically don't talk about the pedophile Prince Henry more than they talk about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The Duke of Gloucester just paid 1.3 million in renovation costs for his home. But nobody's telling them to pay it back. But they're telling the Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to pay back the bill for Frogmo. And they actually paid for it. And they, and then the tabloids went on to say that we need something else for them. We need them to lose their title. I'd say, listen, they don't need those titles. They are the spotlight. They are themselves a brand. 
and by constantly bickering about them you've actually made it made them more and more famous each and every single hour of every single day so what do you think about the press constant harassment of Meghan Markle? Leave a comment below. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you think about them. Because I have my own personal opinion. And I'm sure that you do. And also do not forget, please, subscribe and help this channel grow. Thank you. And have a good weekend.